Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review of Z Nation on Sci Fi. This week we've seen season three, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> episode five, entitled Little Red and the Wolves. And uh, yeah, overall, this was a this is a pretty good episode. You know, it was more of a is more of a <laughs> it was a uh, 10k centric episode. Of course, with uh, him finally, or supposedly being uh, cured of uh, Murphy's control, he fled, and this is essentially like a big chase episode. Um, really, there wasn't a whole lot that happened uh, in terms of plot, um, so this review isn't going to be very long. I don't have much to you know, like recap uh, like I normally do with my shows, but that doesn't mean it was a bad episode, you know? Uh, 10K is a uh, you know, big fan favorite character. He's probably one of the most... Uh, popular characters on the show, probably along with uh, Addy and uh, you know people like that. I want to say, um, so it makes sense. I like they would uh, sort of give uh, Nat Zang his own episode to sort of uh, you know shine, and I think he did a good job with it. You know, he got to sort of dive in t into uh, 10K psyche a little bit. Of course, uh, as he's being chased, we see him uh, you know seeing uh, Red. You know, literally the the character anyway. Um, as she sort of guides him to where he actually needs to go as he's being chased by one of Murphy's, uh, you know, blended uh, henchmen, essentially. Um, and at one point, we sort of get that guy's perspective as well. You know, he says he uh, begged Murphy to uh, bite him, and now he believes he made the best choice possible for his family. But of course, that's his brainwashed mind thinking. You know, if he was in his right mind, all he would see what's actually going on at this point. But yeah, I find him to be a you know somewhat likable character too, I guess. Um, and then, of course, uh, we did come back to Murphy once in a while, who's, uh, you know, really falling off his rocker as he just rants over and over to uh, Dr. Murch or her body, you know, all torn up, the, you know, the throat and, you know, various parts of, uh, you know, her, her uh, you know, lower area and such. Um, you know, just asking her a bunch of questions, you know, he looks through her notes to try and figure out what, what or why she, uh, you know, decided to uh, just kill herself, essentially. And... You know, he just can't make sense of all these, you know, of course, different, you know, math, you know, or algebraic symbols and such, you know, scientific terms, and he, he just doesn't know what to make of it. And at the same time, he is, uh, like I said, you know, blaming her for all this happening and, you know, questioning her why she just didn't stick with him. You know, he has a better world that he's creating and such. And Murphy really does have a god complex at this point because, uh, yeah, at one point he says, like, something like, why in God's name? Or why in my name? Or yeah, <laughs> I, I did used to like Murphy quite a bit. He was my favorite character on the show, and I yeah, even though he's a dick from our fan perspective, I think we can find him entertaining. Not still the case, but he's really being built up as the big bad now, and I'm not sure if there's a way to go back from that, um, unless like a threat like the man or something turns out to be worse. I, I don't know. But still, nonetheless, Keith Allen does play him very well, so I did like those scenes. I do wish you have seen some of our main group, though. It's kind of weird not seeing them for, like, a whole episode. But again, it made sense, and it was an entertaining enough episode anyway. Um, and while well, 10K is on the run from one of Murphy's men, we also have these uh, wolves supposedly stalking him. You know, they really come across... At first, I thought they were, like, a weird blend of, like, wolves and man, making him sort of, like, a zombified uh, wolfman type of things or something, <laughs> and uh, that was pretty cool, you know, that's kind of the vibe I got from him anyway, and you know, being a horror fan that I am, that was, that was kind of cool to think about, but they turn out to be uh, more so hallucinations uh, in 10K's mind, you know, they're not actually wolves or werewolves or anything like that, they're, uh, they're really just, uh, you know, zombified uh, soldiers, and he is hallucinating them as such, but eventually uh, Red is able to guide him, and, uh, you know, he does get away from, uh, the blended man, and at the end, we see someone else approaching him, you know, some people, I don't think he just got recaptured again, I think, it maybe, hopefully it's Warren and her group, um, you know, it's been too long since we see him together, but now he's, uh, convinced that, uh, 5K is actually still alive, and that'd be good, I sort of like their dynamic together, sort of their brotherly bond that they had going on there, um, so I'd definitely like to see more of it, I think, uh, Red's definitely dead at this point, um, but in his psyche, uh, it's helping him to sort of realize that uh, 5K might actually still be out there. Um, so I'm kind of curious about that, too. Um, yeah, overall, it was a pretty good episode. You know, not, like, uh, incredible or anything like that, but I think it's definitely a, was an enjoyable one, especially if you uh, like 10K. Um, I'm going to give this episode about, like, an 8.2, 8.3 out of 10. 
Uh, yeah, I am enjoying Z Nation. I'm not quite as high on it as I was at the beginning of the season. You know, other things have sort of diverted my attention, like Van Helsing and, uh, you know, me watching uh, Supernatural and in season five of that. Now it's an amazing show. But I still nonetheless do like, you know, watching Z Nation from week to week. It just sometimes takes me a little more time to get around to it now. But I hope you guys enjoy this review nonetheless. If there's anything else in the episode that you want me to talk about, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and uh, peace.